Hi guys, I'm Jessica and you're watching Blue Ridge Bubble Works. And um, if you've been watching this channel for any, any of the videos, you know that the lighting is always bad, but the lighting is particularly bad today because it is such a beautiful day. So hopefully when we transition down to here, it'll look better. But right now, and maybe it's just what I'm seeing on my monitor because anyways, it looks terrible to me. Hopefully it looks better to you. Also, if you've watched for any amount of time, you know that I haven't posted in five ever because there are some things going on in my life that have, there are things that have changed. Um, and I'll see if I can't get y'all updated on that. But first, let's talk about our ingredients today and then we can just hop right into the soap making and I can tell you what's going on while I'm making the soap. So first of all, First and foremost, most important, our fragrance is Brown Sugar and Fig Type by Nature's Garden. This smells absolutely delicioso. It smells so good. This is one of my favorites. I know I say that a lot that it's one of my favorites, but I have so many soaps to choose from when I am using soap that even when I really like a fragrance, I don't always get to use the soap that is fragranced with a particular fragrance. This is one of the ones that I will go out of my way to make sure that I get it, that I, and I will use it. And I love it. It smells so good. It's nice and sweet. It's a little bit holiday-esque, but not so much so that you, you know, it seems out of place to use it in like July. Like it'd be weird to use kind of like a Christmassy apple-y fragrance in July. This you can use it year-round. It's a little bit musky too, which I love the musk. Okay, so that's our fragrance. Oh, oh. Knocking over my stick blender. Okay, so our our colorants. My kid's chopping down a tree. Let me see if I can get him to stop. All right, let's see if we can get this going before he does more. Anyways, so we're gonna use the purple, pow pow purple. Focus, pow pow purple by Mad Micas. And we are going to use Savage Garden by Nurture Soap. And it's not wanting to focus because of the bad lighting. There it is. And we will be using Maya Gold by Nurture Soap. I'm gonna do a small layer of the gold and then swirl the purple and green together and then use some of the leftover mica on top of the leftover gold mica on top so it's got like a nice gold swirl on top so let's get down here and start looking at the fun part okay y'all first things first as per usual we are going to add our lye water solution to our oils i really hope y'all can't hear my boys out there this is october for me but it is a beautiful day and the windows open and uh, yeah, the boys can't work together without screaming and yelling because that's what my boys do. Anyways, let's mix this up and then we'll get on with some updates. All right, so I closed the window. So hopefully when the boys keep working, they aren't gonna be disturbing us quite so much. And I've got this emulsified. Now I'm going to pour off just a little to be my gold layer on the bottom. I'm going to do a little gold layer. About yay much. About yay much. Grab a paper towel so I'm not moving my soap or getting soap everywhere and I'm going to add just a smidge of the fragrance and all or most of my colorant all right so I promised just some life updates and I'll let you know what's going on so I guess the last time I made a video my son, my oldest son, was getting ready to graduate high school, and now he is in college. He's actually home. Ugh, 
And there they go, cutting down the tree. Hold on, I have another window open. Let me go close that window. Okay, so maybe that helps. Hopefully you guys can't hear them cutting down the tree or my dishwasher running or all the rest of the life that's happening in my house right now. All right, so anyway, so he was getting ready to graduate high school and right now he is home on fall break from college. Yes, I have a child in college. Like, it's blowing my mind. It's absolutely crazy. But yeah, so everything went well with his graduation and he is adjusting to college nicely. He's very much liking it. He's going to school just outside of Knoxville, Tennessee. So he's about six hours from home. And like I said, he's on fall break right now. So he had to make that trip by himself, which of course made mama very, very nervous, but he made it home just fine because he's practically a grown up. Let me mix this real quick. Okay. He's 18 and I was making long-ish trips at that age too, but it's hard for mama. So that's not why I haven't been making soap. The reason I haven't been making soap or actually, and I actually have a few videos. I'm going to do these out of order. So the last video that I made, I never even edited, edited. That's a hard word to say. Like there's too many d -d 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 -d. Anyways, I never even edited it. It is still on my phone. I don't know that I even put it on my computer because I got a job. I work, I work, I work part-time, but I still have two kids at home that I'm homeschooling. So, and regular, you know, regular home stuff. So I just don't have quite as much time. And honestly, I had hit kind of a, you know, it was a transition in my life. So I was, I was kind of stressing out to be honest. And in stressing out, I kind of lost my mojo, I guess. I didn't really, I wasn't feeling particularly creative. I was just having a hard time. And then this week, just this past week, I have had two separate people come up to me and say something about how I wasn't posting videos anymore. So it really kind of gave me the little oomph that I needed to get back into it. So... I am going to split this off again. And yes, I'm just using the same container. Less dishes, the better. About half and half. One's gonna be the purple and one is gonna be the green. Let's get all of this soap scraped off the sides. All right. Totally random. This one's going to be green. Like I said, it's about half and half, so I'm not trying to get more of one than the other. So there's the Savage Garden, the nice dark green. And then the Pow Pow Purple. It's a nice dark purple. Got to mix it up because once it's been mixed with some of the batch oils, once it, if it sits for a little while, it starts to get real thick. Some of them do, not all of them, but this purple one is trying to thicken up a little bit. I want to get all that colorant in there. Let's mix it up and see how it looks. Look at that. Oh my goodness, it's so dark and beautiful. Grab another spatula and see how dark this purple is. Oh, this is going to look so nice together. All right. Oh, look, I got it on my glove. I keep doing that. I actually did make some soap not too awful long ago. I made two batches a couple weeks ago, um, but I didn't film either one of them because one of them had no color and no fragrance in it. So it was kind of boring. Just would have, I just mixed it up in one bowl and poured it directly into the, directly into the mold. Because a lady, 
that I am friends with, a lady at my church, asked me for a soap with no fragrance and no no color in it. She has very sensitive skin, so that's what I did. And she told me, if you know, it's been sitting long enough, I, I was able to get it to her, and she's used it some, and she said that she really likes it. She's not, it's not breaking her out. She has rosacea. Not that, not making any medical claims about my soap, but she was worried, you know, that it would inflame her rosacea, and it hasn't, so hopefully it will continue to not bother her. But she said it takes her makeup off really nice. I don't know. I don't wear makeup, so I do use my soap on my face, but I do not use makeup, so I don't really know if that, if it does that for everybody works well for everybody when to take off their makeup. Okay, so I have not decided. All right, so usually before I make a soap, I will draw it and I'll have an idea and I'll have my colors all listed out. This one I'm kind of kind of seeing what I want to do. And I haven't decided if I want to do an in the pot swirl or if I want to try to do a drop swirl. Now this bottom layer has set up a very, very nicely. I don't know if you can tell, that is not jiggly at all. See, no jiggles, no jiggles, unlike me. My soap is not jiggly. Oh, it does move a little bit, okay. But still, it's set up nicely. Uh, I think I'm just gonna do it in the pot squirrel. We'll do that. That'll look good. Because this is also setting up very nicely. So it will be, it'll stay separate enough that it won't, you know, it won't get muddy. So I'm just going to take the purple because the green is actually a lot looser. You can see how loose that is. And then the purple is set up a lot more, but I'm just going to pour that purple right in there. Scrape it all out. So it's all scraped out. I'm not even going to swirl it at all. I'm not gonna mix it at all. I'm just gonna leave it like it is. So there's gonna be big chunks of green and big chunks of purple in there. Let's see, how can I do this so that y'all can see the most? All right, so here we have it. I've let it sit for oh, maybe a minute or so, not very long. I'm still gonna use my spatula to break the fall because this is pretty heavy. It'll probably go in there. It'll break through if I don't. So I'm just gonna pour this like so. And I want that purple to show through on all of it. There we go. All the way to the top. All right, now scrape out this bowl. Got it all scraped out. Let's tap, tap, tap. Now that's nice and flat. Got a little bit of the gold, my gold left over. You see, it's not very much, but you really don't need a lot, especially when you have this a dark color like this. Let's see. I'm going to make a little pour spout. And I'm just going to random over the top. All right, scrape it out a little bit. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take the stick that I mixed it up with and swirl it just a little bit just to get some fine lines in there so it's not just like chunks of color. There's no rhyme or reason to the swirl. Just trying to pull it around a little bit until I like it. All 
All right, so I think that looks nice. I'm gonna leave it, we're gonna call it done, and I'll be back later for the cut.